Chaturanga is misrepresented a lot of the time. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like, how most people do it. Okay. So Chaturanga is the bottom part of a push-up. Average person is here. So sit bones are up really high, heart's really low, all the weight's in the rotator cups. Biceps are not doing any work. So ideally, what you want to have happen is the shoulders and the elbows to be aligned. So if I did them on my knees, I would bring my hips forward so that I'm still on a diagonal from my heart to my knees, and then I'll tuck my tailbone down and hug my belly in, so I'm taking the arch out of the lower back. From here, I lift my chest, I draw my shoulders back, and I broaden them out to the sides. Heart lifts, look forward on the ground out in front of you, and then slowly begin to lower. So maybe it's a quarter of the way down, maybe it's halfway down. So halfway, shoulders and elbows are aligned. So just check that out, and then straighten the arms. You don't want to go any lower than that, so that way the biceps do the work and the weight doesn't go into the rotator cuffs. If you want to do it full variation, you take your knees off the ground. You want to really activate your thighs here, lift your quadriceps up towards the sky and your heels back. Again, tailbone tucks, belly hugs in, heart lifts. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, lower down. You roll over your toes to come into upward dog and the heart lift. 